Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Go Go's Crazy Bone booster cracking unboxing video. And we just put out a teaser trailer for all the new stuff that's coming out for a lot of the Go Go's that we have been getting and are getting ready to open. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. But today we are going to be focusing on the tin collections. I've got in front of me five of the tin collections, one of the rare ones, White Diamond, the classic gold series, and then the first three of the limited edition series. And these are going to be a lot of fun. There's some really cool, well painted Go Go's Crazy Bones in here. But then stick around to the end because we are going to do something really cool. Which, if you guys know about the original Go Go's Crazy Bones, we're going to opening two of these. Yeah, Aliens Go Go's Crazy Bones. The original Aliens Blister Packs. These are going to be super awesome. They're very rare to find. It's hard to find any sealed products of the Aliens. So stick around to the end. We're going to open these up and see what we can get with those. And also, we are giving away one of these gold series tins so if you want to win one of the gold series tins make sure to look in the description and in the comments for the link to the giveaway and that'll have all the information in there so look for that and enter the giveaway it should be like a 30-day giveaway and then we'll pick one winner to get the go go's gold series tin all right but what do we start with here let's get these out of the way i think we're gonna start with the uh the limited, exclusive limited series here. Number one, number two, number three, whichever ones they are, we got them all right here. Let's start with tin number one. We've got this guy right on the front, the classic tin number one guy, and yeah, exclusive, 10 exclusive Go-Go's inside. I hope they have the names in there so I can see what they're called and not have to worry about making up stupid names. I forgot to close one of my windows, so if you hear background noise, my apologies. But yeah, let's crack this thing open and see what we can get in this thing. And these are very easy to open. A little niche on the back is like any amount of pressure will just pop these suckers open. <laughs> let's do the reveal. They're all in very nice foam. Look at that. Wow. Look at how cool some of these guys are. I really like this guy. We're gonna go through them one at a time here too. So let's check out what's in this little envelope. And they do, they've got a nice, oh, they've got all the series on here, wonderful. The only ones I'm missing are four and five, I believe, which I will get eventually. I have to wait for them to uh, find a good price for me, but that's very nice. A very nice checklist of all the collector's tins. So it looks like all these collector's tins have the very similar figures, but they're all just painted a little bit differently. So you can kind of pick which color combination you like the most, and that's what you'll get depending on the tin. So let's go over tin number one here. Fantic, Titan, Kibli, Pow, what is that, just Haro, Tico, Bad Cat, Bad Cat Sweet, Chemo, UFO, and then Totem, which the Totem is pretty dope. It's the like official Go-Go's Crazy Bone, uh, advanced hand dude thing, whatever it is, but pretty sweet looking. All right, let's start pulling these guys out and take a look. So first up, we've got Fantic, and he is a very nice yellow with the pink glasses. He looks pretty sick. Next up, this is Sibley. He's sweet. I do like the painting on his eyes. He is very nicely done. Haro, he's, is he like a little guy in a dinosaur outfit? That's kind of what he reminds me of. He's like in a big dinosaur outfit thing. <laughs> Good old Bad Cat, he's the sickest one, man. All the tiki designs on him with his little mask, really nicely done. UFO, which looks like the painting on this one got a little bit worse. I don't know what happened there. Oh, he's got, oh man, <laughs> didn't even realize he's got UFO as his face in the design. Okay, that's creative. And we got the cover art boy Titan over here. Very nice. He's got nice, like, vent things for his mouth. Interesting. Pow looks pretty sweet. He's got, like, some big fists here with gloves on him and a big, huge freaking face. Okay, Tico's sweet. I didn't realize how cool this guy looked until I pulled him out of the box. He is dope looking. I love the coloring on his face. Really sweet. Chemo. Chemo over here. He's, I can't tell where, are those his eyes and then his nose? And then he's got, like, just a mask here. Cool looking, he's like a kind of like a monkey-esque type guy. And then of course our totem, which this is the orange version of the totem, the Go-Go's advanced totem. And no, just so you know, there's nothing underneath these guys. It's just cardboard and then foamies and then these guys. These are all you get in the tins. They're just very exclusive 
painted figures. All right, tin one down. Let's go into tin number two and look at the variants of these guys. Tin two. Different cover on these guys. We got our nice collector tin again. There we go, Fantic with my two favorite colors, purple and green, so I dig it. Sybil, the orange version with the white hair. I like this version a little bit better. Haro, orange version. Bad Cat looking sick in the red. That is actually a pretty good color combination for him. UFO again in a yellow and orangish tint. He is colored a little bit better than that first one. Titan, yellow version with the purple highlights. Pow, I'm not a fan of this color combination. It looks kind of awkward, honestly. Our boy Tico, he looks sick in green. I think he's gonna look good in any color, honestly. Chemo, looking pretty sharp. And then our Totem, the blue version with like a brownish uh, hue on the front, but blue looks pretty good. All right, let's finish up the last of the exclusive first series with the number three series. And then we'll jump into our different ones with our gold series and our white diamond. All right. Oh, that one came out straight away. All right. Very nice. Fantic with the red and pink. Sybil, blue and white. Not bad. I like it. Haro, I think he looks pretty appropriate in the red and purple dinosaur outfit. Bad Cat, again, looking sharp with the purple on the mouth. Man, UFO, they be lacking on the UFO paint jobs, honestly. Not doing a great job with UFO. Titan, orange. Pow with the green. Chemo, he looks sweet with like the yellow and orange tint. I do like that, that looks pretty sharp. Tico in the yellow, I think this is my least favorite color combination, but he still looks sweet. I, I really like this guy, he is dope looking. And then of course our totem, but this is the green version, which definitely one of my faves. Green with the brown. Looks very nice. All right, the gold series is coming up next. Let's open this sucker up. Oh yeah, let's center that up. There we go. Crack it open. Look at all these guys. These guys look absolutely sick. Look at that pamphlet. It's got all of them on there. Is there any more on the back? There's a couple more on the back. Lovely. This is awesome looking. So let's start on the top left here. Of course we got the OG character of Mosh in our nice gold. He looks really slick. Oh my goodness, the reflection on that is insane. Nisako with his nice looking boxing gloves. Ah, oh, these golds are, they bring me back. They bring me back to the classic series. Sato, one of my faves. He is dope looking in the gold. Very, very sharp. I don't know why this one is called Molly. I have no clue why. He does not give off Molly vibes, but okay. I do like this guy. His character design is cool, but I don't know about the name design so much. Molly. <laughs> Hiroki. Uh, I'm not a fan of this design. He looks very derpy. I can't tell if he's like trying to be like a weird chubby penguin or like something else. I don't really get it. Uh, but yeah, there he is. Gold on gold, on, uh, yellow on gold, I should say. <laughs> yellow on gold design. I don't think it matches super well. Lessie, Lessie, I think that's how you call it. Uh, with the green, green looks sharp on it. He's got a big old like freaking fighter jet helmet thing on there or something, I don't know, or he's a football. I can't tell what he's trying to do with this guy, but sweet nonetheless. Oh yeah, Bokey, he is cool. Uh, along with Molly, like his design with the big teeth is so fun. I really do like this guy, he is awesome. We got Tarji over here with a very cool top-down design on that. The helmet looks pretty sick. And he's like a little, look at his bug eyes in there. That's awesome. All right, Giotto with the nice markings on his forehead. Again, I'm not a fan of the Lego face yellow on these guys. I don't think it really works very good with the gold, but he's pretty cool looking. And last but not least, we got the gold Gondo, our little like fish with the hairdo guy. He, he's kind of fishish. He's got like the little fins and I don't know what's going on with him. He's got like a sailor outfit almost, but <laughs> not bad. I like him. He's, he's kind of derpy and cool. That was the gold series. Now remember, we're giving one of these away. So if you liked what you saw here and you want to win one of these, again, description, the link is in there. 
check out the contest giveaway. We're going to be picking one winner. So all the details are in there. Good luck to everybody. I'm excited to send one of these out to one of you lucky guys. All right, last but not least, we've got the very elusive white diamond. One of the tins that I still have yet to get is the black diamond, which is a little bit more rare, uh, but no one had a sealed one of them. And I want to get my sealed products, all right? So white diamond, check it out. 10 of them, exclusive in there. These are going to be pretty dope. Let's open it up. I love the casing on these diamond ones. It is really cool. Oh, yeah. Let's check out the pamphlet. Very similar to the gold one. All our guys on here, all their names. We've got some cool ones. Dang. That's awesome. These are, these are going to be some sick ones to go over. All right, first one up, it's T3. Why is he called T3? I don't really know, but he's got an interesting... It's like he's got a tree on his forehead. That's weird, but he's pretty cool. And then we got Unissi, which I, I don't really I don't really like his design. I think he's one of the weakest ones in this set. He has got the green going on though. I do like the different shades of the green, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. Tanny though, Tanny looks dope, dude. He looks really cool. This is a good one. I very much enjoy his aesthetic here. Dude, all right, he's gotta be one of my faves from this one. Gurr, he is sick. He's got like the little Yoda ears going on. This is insane. With the blue, again, not a fan of these yellows. Although this one looks pretty good in a yellow, but we'll, we'll get to him in a second. Lika, Lika, he reminds me of a very like classic, like Monsters Crazy Bones, which we do have over here, and we are gonna be opening up this box soon, so stay tuned for that. But he's got a very like kind of nostalgic design, other than the big eyes, but like the feel and the shape of them looks very nostalgic. Gusper, you look dope, dude. I love the paint job on your face, man. He's got a very cool little paint job going on. All right, very nice. And then we got Punch, uh, pretty dang weak if you ask me. I'm not a huge fan of how they did this one. It is pretty, I don't know, it's pretty garbage, honestly. <laughs> A stat, a stat is like, it's got some like jazz vibes going on. I get like a jazz feel from this one. But you know what, the yellow doesn't look too bad on here. I think I know what it is. I think when you're highlighting yellow on certain things like the clothes or the eyes or something, it looks worse. But if the actual go-go is yellow, it actually looks pretty decent. But he is very cool, look at that. He, this design is awesome. Well done to the artist with this set. And last but not least, we've got Tariko. Is that how you say it? Trico, Trico, which he is dope, dude. He's gotta be one of my faves. This is awesome looking. Oh man, he is so cool. Look at that three-eyed little wonder. Oh, you're dope, dude, I love it. And that is the White Diamond series. So these tins are really freaking sweet and really nice little collector edition item that you can find. All right, last but not least, the moment you've all been waiting for, hopefully, if you know anything about Crazy Bones, we're gonna be doing the aliens, and these things are gonna be freaking awesome. I have never, I have never opened up an actual seal product of aliens. I have a bunch of them. I've gotten them from like the things packs uh, and such, and just traded and found them or whatever, but actually opening up a sealed aliens product is pretty dang rare, man. And these were not cheap. These were pretty expensive actually to get, but uh, let's, man, let's open these up. Oh man, this is gonna be so awesome. Oh, 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 these feel old packaging. Feels so good though. Okay, easy does it. There we go. Oh, we got a checklist. Should we take out the checklist before we reveal? Let's see. Dude, the full checklist of the original Crazy Bones aliens. Oh man, I'm hanging on to this because I do want to get them all. Claw, Stinky, Lucas, Space Frog, Tut. Tut's got to be one of my favorites, dude. Cyclops, Triclops. Triclops is dope too. All right, let's get into what we can find here. They're all. Are they all individually packaged? Oh, 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 oh. All right, that looks like there's there's gonna be four. We got a sticker. Let's go through the stickers. We got this little dude. Oh, I forget your name, but you are sweet looking. And then we've got, oh yeah, we've got like the Nero guy. That one's pretty sick too. Is his name Nero? I can't find his name on here. We're gonna have to look. But here's the first ones that we got. Two in here and then there's two more. So let's open it up and let's see. Let's start with this one. Yo, 
Oh, these guys are so sick, dude. Oh, these guys are awesome. Holy cow. They're always like this awesome translucent too. It's so sick. Uh, I wish I could find the name. Can we find the name? It's 15, 15. What? Do we only have, we only have half the list here? We only have half the checklist. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> All right, there's one. Oh, we're dropping that one. It's the koala man. Okay, he is pretty dope. One of my lesser favorites though, but I mean, it's aliens. I'll take it. These guys are sick. Let's see, can we find him? Seven, of course, they give us a checklist that we don't have. Let's go into the next. We got oh, this guy, dude. He is the derpiest looking dude, but he is awesome. Number 58, we can actually find his name on here. 58, Floss. Oh yeah, number three and number 13, so we can't find those on this checklist. Floss, good old Floss. All right, I see some orange. Let's take out the orange one first. It's the cow, it's the cow alien. <laughs> oh, that's sick, 35, we've got him on here. Oh, it's Rudolph, his name is Rudolph? He looks like a cow, is it supposed to be a reindeer? I guess it could be a reindeer. All right, last one from this one, let's get him out. We got the nice brown see-through, oh, oh, you're cool, you're in a car. I do not have you, my man, very nice. I got one that I didn't have. All right, what, 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 what one are you, what one? 24, not on this checklist. We're gonna have to see when we open up the other blister if we can get the other checklist half. Oh, there's one more sticker. Oh, a couple more stickers. Oh, let's go. We got 38, which is Tut, and then we got 48, which he is sick. What is that, Cyber? Cyber is dope looking. All right, let's open up the next one here and see what we can find in this one. I would say there's like a rarity system with these, but there's really not. Just all of them are rare. If you have one of these, they're the, one of the most highly sought after ones in Crazy Bones, other than like gold eggies and stuff like that. All right, let's carefully get in here. Let's get the checklist out first. See if we got the other half. We did not get the other half. It's only giving us half the checklist. All right, let's get in there. Let's try to pull out all our stickers first and go through those. We got 41 lips. <laughs> His name's Lips. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, the classic soccer guy. He's number 20, so we, I don't know his name. Uh, the Seal Ball. Seal Ball Alien. I don't know. And then, ah, oh, one of my faves, dude. This is this is a guy I love, man. Triclops. He is awesome. I really like him. No, no more stickers. We're just going on to the Crazy Bones. And we've got a purple one, which I'm very excited for. I love me some purple. Give it. Give it. All right. Who, who do we got? We got a little teacup, a little teacup alien. <laughs> what number? 12, it's number 12. Oh, he is sick though, awesome. Oh, and a nice, very clear, clear white translucent. Ooh, it's the superhero one. Is it Soups? Is that his name? I can't remember, but he's got like a cape. He's flying, he's got a little helmet. There's the back, 20, is that 34? 34, yeah, 34, Super Go-Go. Super Go Go Alien. There we go. That's a nice one. Last two aliens. Oh, we got a nice blue in here. Let's go. Oh, that is sick looking. Oh, that's awesome. You are 14, so I don't know your name. Maybe I'll try to put up the names on the in the edit. So if I already started doing that, <laughs> I just thought of it now. <laughs> he is cool. Let's open up this last blue one. See what we can find. Ooh, ooh, you are cool. You're like a sand desert nomad alien. That is sick looking. Okay, what number? 23, he'll be up on screen too, but there you go, he is sick. Look at all these guys, man. These, these dudes are so awesome. Let me just sneak on in there a little bit more so you guys can see. Now the trick is with these aliens, you could get sealed products of the aliens, which was dope, but they also included secret alien go-go's in the things go-go's original packs. And so I do want to hunt for those as well. Things is like the cheapest, most readily available original go-go set you can find. Very overstocked everywhere. Everybody sells them pretty cheap too. So if there is crazy bones you want to get, Things would be the set that would be the easiest to get. They're like household objects and stuff. They're pretty lame. I've got a lot of them, but 
you have a chance to get a rare alien go-go in some of the packs. I think it's one in a hundred packs you get an alien one, but some people have claimed that they've pulled 20 from a box. So it might be actually insane. So I've, I've ordered one of the things boxes. So we'll be opening up a things box and doing a search and a hunt for more aliens. So if you're excited for that, please subscribe to the channel because we're going to be going through that. We're going to be going through mutants and we're going to be going through series one, series two. We've got so much crazy bone content coming up so hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to stay tuned again enter the giveaway link in the description good luck to everyone thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one let's go out with the aliens